everyone and welcome to Letty Does Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So in the last episode, the team discovers that Izel is able to hop inside of people's bodies and possess them. So they find out that Davis was the one that she was inside of during the party and then she hopped into May, who then proceeded to try to kill Sarge. But really, she was she knew I wasn't gonna kill him, but shoot Shar shoot Sarge, so yeah, that's what happened. Um, but they take Sarge's body down to the morgue after they realize that he is coming back to life and that they want to examine him to see if they can find out exactly what he is. So um, Sarge eventually does get better, and Izel takes possession of different members of the team to extract information as to where the gravitonium uh, that contains the power of the monoliths is. So eventually she takes over Mac who has the clearance to access that room and she gets her hands on the orb but not before encountering Sarge who manages to escape his holding after he comes back to life where Izel tells him that they are both from I believe another dimension maybe it was another planet nope dimension where they don't have forms so basically it's that when Coulson went inside to close all the power of the monoliths inside of the orb, um, I guess this being from another world saw him and through the monoliths was able to make themselves a body. And Izel still doesn't have one, um, but I think she wants to make herself one. I'm kind of confused about what her entire plan is because uh, she says that she wants to make Earth uh, have a bunch of hosts for the members of their world through the Shrikes, but I'm not sure how that would work because they're kind of like they don't have a physical form but they as far as I can tell have nothing to do with the shrikes so I'm not sure <laughs> how that's going to go but yeah so that's what's happening right now uh, Sarge is back in lockup um, because of his escape but he now says that he refuses to be whoever Izel is claiming that he is, um, because I guess he's supposed to bring about the end or destruction or something, but anyway, he thinks he's Coulson. He thinks he's Sarge, and he is trying, and he's like trying to stick to his character, so he refuses to help her. Um, I think these last couple episodes are just going to be stopping Izel, but also Sarge is probably going to have to release his power and become whoever Izel says he is because only then will he be strong enough to defeat her. But I don't really think it's going to be that, um, just because he seems to be like questioning what's real and what's not. I think it's going to be more like he might shift sides or he might not be sure whose side he's on. Um, but yeah, I guess we're just going to have to wait for that. And other than that, that's basically all I'm looking for. Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 6, Episode 11, From the Ashes. Let's get started. Oh yeah, and then Isaiah killed Davis. Oh yeah, and she took Mac and Yo-Yo. Aww. 
She has bloody fingers. Oh shit! That was clever. That was clever. <laughs> they name drop Robbie. This is so sweet. She's wearing more makeup than usual. Fear and fear dimension. But it worked. Oh, that first hand. So lots of things were able to kill her Shrike, though. Aw, I think I know what's gonna happen. Oh no, it's making a person! <gasps> Thomas. Oh, his I'm husband? Here. What the fuck? Oh my god, is she just gonna like... I don't know, this is terrible. I think you are something. That's a weird sentence. Whoa! Hey! Okay! Oh no, this is sad! Why? Why does he need to be so mature that his fear is this and not like a giant spider or something? So they know he's alive again and dead again. Wow, that's grim. Aww. Poor May. She just wants companionship. If it works on me, it'll work on Oh, her. shit. <laughs> she was not expecting that. That is a cool effect, though. Didn't she just get done saying? Oh, my God. You won't. How do you know that? What are you doing? He was right about the daddy issues, I guess. Yes. <laughs> So it's not just Fitzsimmons anymore, it's Fitzsimmons Shaw. I'm going to create them for me. Oh. But you can't do it yourself. It's kind of smart. That's you... Oh, shit. No way. Oh, shit. Oh, what? Mutiny. Oh dang, okay, it just ended. All right, so another pretty good episode. I feel like plot-wise they actually didn't like get through that much, but this was just like prepping us for basically the two-part finale. Um, so I wasn't sure how, um, how, how is that guy, what was he called? I don't remember his name, but I think the lady's name was Atara. I'm not sure how she fits into all this in the Chronicoms. Um, just because like what they seem to be doing seems like completely different than <laughs> what else is going on, unless they like want to use the monoliths to make Chronica 3. Or maybe they want to inhabit Earth? I'm not sure. They don't really need anything. Like, they just need a planet that's in one piece. So, hmm. I don't know. But I'm guessing we're going to see more of their plan unfold later. I do want to see what Enoch is doing. Um, because these guys at the end, they're the hunters, and they're the ones that want to make Chronica 3, but um, Enoch and the other guys, they're like documenters? They said something like that, and I don't really know how, what they're like planning to do. Are they planning on fighting the hunter guys? Because I think Enoch said that, like, they're the strongest of the Chronicoms, so that wouldn't really be the smartest thing to do for Enoch, but yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I'm assuming that him and Fitz are gonna have another little reunion thing. Flint, though, that was surprising. I was not expecting to see that. He's gonna have to, man, make 
monoliths again. <laughs> it's like the second time they've had him do that. And I'm kind of sad that with all the, you know, name drops of Robbie Reyes, like, he's probably not going to show up, but that would have been cool. Anyway, so, yeah, we're probably going to see more of Enoch. Pretty excited for that. Um, I do want to see what kind of device that everyone comes up with to make the vibration waves and things. I don't really know why it took Deke so long to figure that out because on his truck, Sarge already had that machine that he even explained how it works. It, emi it, it, it emits frequencies that keep the Shrike away. Like, he said himself how it works. And Deke knows, because Deke repaired it, so... Why is it so difficult? I'm not sure, but... Anyway, yeah, more of that to come. Two-part finale next. I'm pretty excited, but let me know what you guys thought of this episode. And that is basically all I got for you for now. So get out there, do all this stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm not here anymore. Man, my bed just keeps getting smaller and smaller. The more I need to share it with animals, creatures like you. Boop. <laughs> now I need to cross my legs and shit.